Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Haltech Q&A. Today, we're going to be looking at EJ20 conversions, knock control, and which ECU is going to fit a 350 Chev. Our first question today comes from White Gun. I'm doing a similar conversion to the Mighty Car Mods Beetle, but I'm using an EJ20 motor. Did you encounter any wiring or setup difficulties during that build? Well, awesome conversion. I really recommend it, and I'm sure you're going to end up with a great car out of it. There weren't too many issues. One of them was the gearbox and the clutch, so it was a little bit hard to get a clutch that was going to hold that much power. Wiring-wise, it was brilliant. It was so nice to be able to wire straight through the firewall, which is in the rear, underneath the passenger seats because the battery is on one side and there was a huge compartment on the other side to fit all the engine management. So wiring wise, it was absolutely terrific. Setup wise, about the only thing that was fairly difficult was getting the pedal position sensor set up so that we could use the electronic throttle. In the end, you might have seen in one of the videos where we used the rod that went across to the passenger side and then we used the pedal to electronic throttle conversion part out of a Honda Accord Euro, it was an 05 or 06 model. And that way it was a cable to an electronic converter. If you'd like to see the full video on the Mighty Car Mods Beetle, there's a link in the description below. Our next question today comes from Storm33. Does the Elite Series ECU knock control have FFT analysis? Well Storm, it's a technical answer, but the answer is yes. Uh, the Elite Series ECU does use FFT analysis or fast Fourier transform algorithms uh, combined with the knock frequency, available knock window and a knock threshold table in order to filter out any unwanted engine noise and perform knock control. Our last question today comes from Charles Beans. What would you recommend for a 1990 Chevy C1500 with a 350 TBI motor? Well, Charles, your TBI motor or throttle body injector motor has two injectors in the throttle body. So this setup would either use the Platinum Sport GM series, which is a Delco replacement ECO. So it'll plug straight into your factory harness, the car will start and run and get it tuned. You will need to be a little bit careful with this because of the year model of your car, the Sport GM may not be suitable. So the best thing to do is grab the serial number off the back of your factory ECU Give Haltech a call. We can go through your serial number and let you know whether the Sport GM is going to be a direct plug-in. If it's not, we'd be using something like our Sport 1000 or Elite 1500 range, which will control your two injectors, your distributor, and anything else in the car you need to control. We get so many questions like this across our Facebook, YouTube, email, and phone calls. So we've started up a new series of videos called what fits my car? And in this series, we're going to be looking at which Haltech ECU fits which car with which engine for which particular series of racing. That way, you can have a look through the videos. Your car is going to pop up. If it doesn't, please leave us a, a comment. We'll be able to go through and let you know which ECU is going to fit your engine in your car. To make sure you don't miss out on any of the new Q&A videos or any of the what fits my car videos, there's going to be plenty of them coming up. Make sure to subscribe in the link below. Well, that's all we've got today. Thanks very much for your questions. We're looking forward to receiving more for upcoming episodes. Don't forget to leave them in the comments below.